Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial today we're going to create a glitter cut crease paired with berry lips for fall. If you want to know how to get my look you see here, then just keep on watching. To start this look out, we're priming today with the Becca Backlit Priming Filter, a favorite of mine for many reasons but mostly because it's super hydrating and adds so much luminosity under that foundation. So next I'm going to apply a mist on moisturizer for some more hydration and this is by Pixie by Petra and this is called the Milky Mist. I'm just going to spray this all around my face. Using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation, we're going to create a flawless base. And I mean flawless because this foundation is just out of this world amazing. It's full coverage and dewy, and it really doesn't get any better than this right here. To blend out, I'm using a damp beauty blender and just blending right away. To conceal and highlight, we're going in with the Kat Von D Concealer Cream in L5. And I like to draw a triangle under each eye, going back to my hairline and ear area. That's why when the light hits, you've got a flawless highlight and everything will come forward. For this, all I'm going to go in with is a damp beauty blender for a nice seamless finish. To set under the eyes, I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder and I'm going to pack this right under the eyes using my damp beauty blender. Then I'll wait about 3 minutes and just dust this right off. And to set my entire face today, I'm using the Urban Decay Foundation Powder in Light Warm. For brows, I'm using the Benefit Cosmetics Cabrow Pomade in number 5. And this is such a great pomade that I use every single day. I first go in for the arch and then slowly bring this to the front of my brow. I flick upwards so I can get some hair-like strokes going. And this just makes them look a lot more natural towards the front. I like to set them with the Benefit Gimme Brow in Deep, and then to clean them up, I go back in with some concealer because it's okay to be a little extra if you do have some time on your hands to do this. So for eyes today, we're going to start out with the shade Tempera from the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just going to take this and pat this right onto the lid to make sure all the other colors we're going to use today blend seamlessly. So we're going to start creating that crease color by popping in the shade Burnt Orange from the Modern Renaissance Palette. And I just have this on a nice fluffy brush and I'm just going to go ahead and dust this right into the crease area. Going back in with the shade Raw Sienna, I'm going to layer this right on top of Burnt Orange to add some depth to this look. So next I'm going to take this shade called Realgar and it's a nice orange. It's really, really beautiful and this will look really nice right at the top of the crease. I'm just going to go ahead and pop this right on top. So when we do add the dark brown in, it gives a nice gradient effect into this beautiful orange shade. Going in with the shade Red Ochre, I'm going to start cutting that crease. I like to use a very small brush and just start mapping this out first. I like to start at the high point, wing it out, and then follow through by bringing the shadow inward. To create some depth, I picked up the shade Cypress Umber, which is a nice, deep, rich brown. I'm just going to be adding this right at the base of the crease. That way, when I add in the concealer later, the darkest and the lightest points will meet together, really creating that cut crease and tying everything together. So next I'm taking the Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape Concealer in Fair and I'm going to apply this directly to the lid and bring this right up against Cypress Umber to really cut this lid. And next to set the lid I'm going to go back in with the shade Tempera and add this right directly where I applied the concealer and this is going to be our lid shade. If you lose any of the shade Cypress Umber, you can go back in with your brush and add a little bit over the area that you applied Tempera. So 
So next, using a liquid liner, I'm going to create a nice little baby wing. I didn't want to do anything super drastic because we already have a very drastic eyeshadow look today. So you want to create a nice small wing that really complements the shape we are going for. It's really easy if you just follow the shape of the cut crease. You can create a nice wing that really flows and blends really nicely with this eye look. So next I'm just applying some mascara and for lashes today I'm using the Coco Goddess Lashes. I love these because they are super spiky and you can see shadow really well through them. They are not overly thick. They just look really, really nice with looks like this. For the lower lash line, I'm using the Estee Etta Inside Track Kajal in Bold Bordeaux and Urban Nude. I'm first taking Bold Bordeaux and I'm applying that to the lower lash line. And then I went in with Cypress Umber and just buffed that right in to get that nice and smoky look I was going for. Then I went in with the other side of the eyeliner, which is Urban Nude, and I applied this right to my waterline. I finished off by applying some Lash Paint by Tarte to my lower lashes. And to highlight the inner corner today, I'm using Primavera from the Modern Renaissance Palette. So lastly, I'm applying the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in Midnight Cowboy, and I just placed this right underneath the shade Cypress Umber. So this is a final look at these glitter cut crease eyes. I love the way they turned out, and I hope you guys like them too. For bronzer, I'm going in with the Benefit Hoola, and I'm just going to be dusting this all around my face, into the hollows of my cheeks, and forehead, just to get a nice warm glow going. I'm also going to be doing the usual nose contour with the same bronzer, and after I've contoured out that nose, I like to go in with some face powder on a very small brush, and start buffing this in to blend out a little bit. For blush, I'm going in with the highlighter, and this is by Becca Cosmetics. It's a copper color, which adds so much warmth and gives me a nice sun-kissed glow. I really like how you can actually use this all around your face, and it looks very sun-kissed, and it has a light shimmer to it. It's really, really beautiful. For highlight, I'm going in with the Makeup Addiction Cosmetics Holy Glow Palette. And I'm taking the shade Sunkissed and popping this right on the tops of my cheekbones and also my forehead right above the middle area of my eyebrow. I'm also going to take the same shade and highlight the bridge of my nose and also the tip of my nose. To clean everything up, I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder on a damp beauty sponge. I'm just applying this right underneath my bronzer and blush and highlight, and I'm just going to pack this on right underneath. I leave it on for about three minutes, and then I go ahead and brush this off, and it reveals a nice chiseled contour, and it just looks really, really clean. And I usually always do this when I am doing makeup super glam. It also keeps your makeup on a lot longer and prevents any creasing if you do have smile lines. So for lip liner, I decided to go with a beautiful shade by MAC Cosmetics. This is Night Moth. It's very vampy. It's super versatile for a lot of fall lipsticks. That's why I really, really love it. And it's just a nice, deep berry shade. So I decided to go for more of a pointy Cupid's bow today. But other than that, I'm just lining my lips like I normally do. For lips, I'm using Honolulu by Ofra Cosmetics, and this is such a beautiful red berry shade, and it's very, very fall appropriate. It has some shimmer in it, which is unique and nice because a lot of lipsticks that are liquid lipsticks, they're usually matte, and this actually has a nice sheen to it and a nice shimmer, so it's really, really beautiful and unique. I actually have a code with Ofra Cosmetics, and it's Victoria Lynn, and this will save you some money at checkout if you do purchase anything from their online website. Alright beauties, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to like it and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Thank you all for watching today, and I will see you in my next tutorial.